Let me show you how to manage tables directly in CK Editor. Now to do that, we need to enable the table button. So go to configuration and then click on text formats and editors and then edit a specific text format. I'll edit basic HTML and then scroll down to toolbar configuration and then move the table button from available buttons to active toolbar and then scroll down to the bottom and if you are using the limit allowed HTML tags filter, make sure you can see the table HTML tags. This means that Drupal won't remove the table markup when you add tables through the editor. So once everything has been configured, click on save configuration. And then if we jump back to our editor, and then you should see the insert table button. If you click on it, you can select how many columns and rows you want your table to initially be, but you can add in extra columns and rows later on. So if we add in three by three, then from the table toolbar, you can control the columns, the row, and also merge cells and split cells. So if we wanna add in a header row, we can click on the row dropdown and then just toggle on the header row. So I can add in header one, two, three, and then we can simply add in text below. And then if we tab through, it'll automatically create a new row for us. You can also add a caption for the table just by clicking on toggle caption and then adding in a caption for the table. Then if we scroll down and click on save, we should see our table. Now, if the table isn't being rendered correctly, there's a good chance your text format needs to be configured correctly. So if we go back there and edit basic HTML and your text format is using the limit allowed HTML tags, make sure you add in the table markup in the allowed HTML tags.